Hello and welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. We've been doing some moving and and uh, all that good stuff. But in the interim of things, on the side from buying toys like I usually do, I got this toy right here. I got a 1989 Bronco XLT. So uh, it's gonna be a little restoration project. I saw myself in the reflection there. Uh, a little restoration project. So I thought I'd just uh, make a you know a few videos as I go along and get this bad boy going. So let's check it out. One thing I really like about it, it already has, you know, some pretty good tires on it. I think these are, let's see, 33 by 12 and a half uh, tires and uh, pretty good tread so far. It looks like I won't have to replace these anytime soon. I thought about maybe doing a, a, a small lift on it or just leaving it as it is. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Two inch lift? Three? Four? Um, Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to definitely replace these old dingy things. Old dingy things. May go LED. May go with, uh, you know, just a replacement with LED bulbs. No crack on the windshield. Whoops. That's out of date. I do need to get the... Uh, the wipers working so I can get it inspected I mean I've only had this thing for a couple of weeks so so that's all good you know no cracked glass tank let's see and it does have the old school like that it doesn't have the threading I need to clean that up Ugh. all right <clears throat> Tail lights. I'm gonna replace those too. I want to go. I want to go with black blackouts on the tail lights and on the headlights. I think. I think that'll look good. I'm probably not gonna have it repainted anything special and, sh and shiny. This already has a, uh, I guess like that rhino lining type of paint on it. I like it though. I might just uh, respray it. Might just respray that so that it uh, is even because it's really not even at the moment. Haven't done anything crazy in it yet. Just a little bit of mud. You know, it does have some uh, some small issues at the moment. I'm still working on those. I have some uh, some idling and loss of power whenever I'm driving it. So, um, but I mean that all goes with uh, having a 30-something year old vehicle, I believe. So, just just things to fix. And there's that. Just a quick thing to note, I did have the muffler uh, repaired. Um, whoever had this before just kind of had this piece uh, tied together with some rags and some clamps. So, so yeah, new welds, new pipes. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, definitely need new springs and CV joints and things of that nature as well. And I'll be showing that as I get it done as well. So, so. Whoa. All right, moving along. I am looking, however, to put a light bar on it as well. So I'm still debating if I want to put like, you know, like the LED ones or, uh, you know, like the, the, the KC across the top. You guys tell me what you think is uh, the best look. Uh, I'm kind of going for, I, I don't want it to be too modern. I, I, want, I want it to be updated. Uh, somewhat, but I still like you know the fact that it's a uh, an 89 and I want to keep some of that Nostalgia with it. So maybe just the Casey lights. I don't know. We'll see My interior for the most part um, Looks pretty good. Oh, that's the aftermarket CD player picking up my Bluetooth on the phone, uh, but in the front before I go to the back. I mean everything is uh, Pretty good condition not a lot of cracks um I'm debating if I want to keep the color though. I know I can buy uh, replacements. Thinking red might be kind of cool inside of a black Bronco, but again, I mean, these are you know I'm fresh into this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I do have power windows. Sounds a little little nasty, and then I think my back window is uh, gives me a little trouble. I've got to probably fix the. 
probably fix the motor or something on that or it's off track so that to fix as well and in the back the the bench looks pretty good um, we'll see how how this stuff lasts like I said I probably I'm gonna replace some seats. I don't know if I wanna go with leather or just gonna get some original red ones and go all red on the interior. I've got some, uh, some camo up there. I do like to hunt. I love to be outdoors, but I just don't think I'm gonna keep that. So, all right. All right, let's go ahead and crank her up and... You can probably see the little idling issue I got here in a second. Let me pop the hood. Of course, it doesn't want to do the idle problem on camera. It wants to behave. May keep those, may replace that. Not sure. The old muffler might pretty that up some. We'll see. Okay, so just to wrap this up, that's a quick walkthrough of my 89 XLT Bronco. Super excited to have this thing. I've been looking to do this project for a couple of years now. So to actually have this in my possession, I mean, I'm just super excited. Uh, but yeah, just stick around. We'll see how this turns out. Hit the like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. Ooh, that sun's bright. Later. Thank you.